Due to many requests from subscribers, I have decided to do a video on what the Tsar Bomba could look like if it were dropped in different parts of the world. Now I'm going to do a quick review of my original video where I said the bomb was dropped somewhere in this area, but I was actually a little bit off. The actual location of where the bomb was dropped was right over here. Above this little pond or, or giant pond or little lake, whatever it is. It was released at about 10 kilometers in the air, which was roughly 6.5 miles. It detonated at 4.2 kilometers above sea level, which is about 14,000 feet above sea level, or a little over two and a half miles. It was also four kilometers above the ground level, or about 13,000 feet above ground level, which is about 2.4 miles above the ground. That's where it detonated. Now I'm going to pull back here, and I have a red circle. This red circle represents the blast radius, or I should say the total destructive blast radius of the first atomic bomb ever used in the history of the world, which was a bomb named Little Boy that they dropped over the city of Hiroshima, Japan on August 6, 1945. It had a total destructive blast radius of 1.6 kilometers, one mile. One mile of total and complete destruction. The Tsar Bomba is a, little, is a lot different. The Tsar Bomba was much more powerful than this one. You can see the epicenter here. This circle, this first, this next circle, I should say, represents the total, complete, destructive blast radius of the Tsar Bomba. And that turned out to be 55 kilometers or 34 miles. So everything within that radius was totally and completely destroyed. It was decimated. Now the next circle, just beyond that, is a circle where anybody within that circle, if they weren't totally destroyed by the blast, would have had third degree burns. And that is a hundred kilometers away from the epicenter, hundred kilometers, which is 62 miles away. That means if there were no structures in the way like hills, mountains, trees, buildings, or whatever, they would have received third degree burns. I'm going to pull back a little further now. And you can see the big circle here. This big circle is the circle, which is 560 miles or 900 kilometers, where if there was a clear line of sight, windows were blown out from, over, from about 900 kilometers away. Now, I'm going to take that information and make some comparisons. And the first comparison I'm going to do is right below right here in Moscow. You can see, I'm going to zoom in. And right at the center of Moscow is Red Square, or the Kremlin. And if we get in close, you can see this right here is Red Square. This area here is within the Kremlin, within the Red Wall. And the first circle I put up there is the circle that represents the first atomic bomb, the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. So if it were dropped right over the top of the Kremlin, it would have a blast radius of 1.6 kilometers or one mile. And everything within that radius would have been totally and completely destroyed, or at least if it wasn't made of concrete. Now, if we pull back a little, you could see that the majority of Moscow would be pretty much intact. However, as we pull back further, you can see the destructive radius of the Tsar Bomba, if the Tsar Bomba was dropped above Moscow, it would have totally and completely decimated the entire city along with a huge portion of the outskirts beyond it. 55 kilometers from the epicenter, or 34 miles out, would have been totally and completely destroyed. So we go back further. You can see the third degree burn radius 100 kilometers away or 62 miles away, anybody within this circle, if they were in a clear line of sight, would have third degree burns. And as we go back further, you can see the 900 kilometer or the 560 mile broken window radius. Anything within clear line of sight of the bomb up to 900 kilometers away or 560 miles away could have or would have had their windows blown out. Now I took that same information and I put it over the center of London and this red circle represents the destructive blast radius of the first atomic bomb that was ever used. You can see this is a circle that represents total destruction. 
And as we pull back, London is a pretty large city, and you can see that most of it would have been intact if a bomb like the one used on Hiroshima was dropped over the city of London. Now I'm going to pull back further, and you can see the next circle is the total destructive radius that the Tsar Bomba would have caused if it was dropped on the same city of London. The entire city would have been completely decimated, as well as a good portion of the country beyond the city. And of course, the third circle is the third degree burn circle, 100 kilometers, or 62 miles. Third degree burns would have been felt within that circle. And as I pull back further, you're going to see the 900 kilometer blast radius. And over here, I put the same information over Paris, France. Just for a comparison, you can see right here, this circle in the center of Paris represents the Hiroshima bomb. The next circle represents the Tsar Bomba. And of course, the third circle represents the third degree burn zone. And the bigger circle represents the broken window zone. So that gives you a pretty good idea of how powerful the Tsar Bomba was compared to the first atomic bomb ever used. Now, I also put that same comparison over the city I was born in, which is Los Angeles, California. And you can see here in the heart of Los Angeles, if the Hiroshima bomb was dropped over Los Angeles, you could see the destructive radius right here of 1.6 kilometers or one mile. And as we pull back, you could see that the majority of Los Angeles would have been just fine. However, if the Tsar Bomba was dropped in the same location, you can see right here, this circle would have totally destroyed the entire city and gone well beyond it. And of course, beyond that, you have the third degree burn zone. And if we go further, you have the 900 kilometer broken window zone, which reaches all the way as far north as Oregon and past Northern California, it goes as far east as New Mexico and touches the corner of Colorado. And it goes as far south as well over the halfway point in Baja California, Mexico. So anything within a clear line of sight of that bomb within 900 kilometers or 560 miles would have had its windows broken that far away. Now the last comparison I want to make is actually in the city of Hiroshima, Japan, where the first atomic bomb was ever dropped. When they dropped that bomb, they were aiming for this T-shaped bridge right here in the middle of the city. The bomb did not detonate directly above this bridge. It actually detonated, I believe it detonated somewhere over in this general area right over here. But they did not consider that a miss because it was so close to the intended target or the intended bullseye that with an atomic bomb, that was pretty much a direct hit. Now, as I pull back, you will see this red circle right here. This is the circle or the radius of total destruction that bomb created, 1.6 kilometers or one mile. Everything within this circle was totally and completely destroyed, except for a few concrete buildings that were directly below it. They were able to withstand the blast. Everything else was gone. And you can see as we pull back, the majority of the city was not totally decimated by the initial blast. Now, if we pull back further, let me show you what the Tsar Bomba would look like if it was dropped over the same exact location. It would have not only totally destroyed the entire city of Hiroshima, but it would have taken out a good fraction of the country, if you look here. And beyond that, you can see the third degree burn radius which is absolutely huge compared to the size of the island. And if we go back further, you can see the 900 kilometer or the 560 mile broken window radius, which means anything within a clear line of sight would have had some windows broken. And you look at it, it covers the entire country of North and South Korea, entire countries of North and South Korea, the majority of Japan and goes way down south, almost to Okinawa. So there you have it. A comparison in different parts of the world with the Tsar Bomba, what it, what it could have done if it were dropped on different parts of the world right here on Google Earth.